In this video, the 14th in the Getting Started series, we will learn about creating a drawing of your design and learn some additional functionality such as document settings, parts list tables, creating sheets, smart dimensions, auto dimensions, and automatic drawing creation. We will explore both manual and automatic methods for creating a drawing set in Fusion in this video. With the Fishing Reel Assembly design open, go to the File menu and select New Drawing from Design. The Create Drawing dialog will appear and allow you to specify some settings. We will start by keeping the manual setting. The next option is what we want to create a drawing of. The whole assembly, only what's displayed on the screen, or only what we select. For this example, we will do the full assembly. Change the standard from ISO to ASME, but leave the units at millimeters. Finally, change the sheet size to C and press OK. Refer to Exhibit 1. A new drawing design tab will appear along with the C-sized title block. If you move your cursor, you will see a graphical thumbnail of the fishing reel assembly attached to the cursor. In the Drawing View dialog, change the orientation to Northeast Isometric and notice how the thumbnail updates. First, set the scale from 1 to 2 to 2 to 1 to enlarge it on the screen. Next, change the style to shaded and enable full length tangent edges. Finally, click the left side of the screen to position the isometric view and press OK. Refer to Exhibit 2. Access the Smart Table icon located above the Tables menu. This feature intelligently analyzes the drawing to generate the appropriate table type. For assemblies, it automatically creates a parts list. Had a sheet metal flat pattern been used, it would have generated a bend table instead. Position the table in the upper right corner of the sheet border. The table is generated, but the text appears somewhat small. To adjust the default text size, Locate and click the Change Document Settings icon within the browser. From there, modify the text height group size from medium to large. This settings dialog provides access to a wide array of drawing configurations, including linear precision, leading or trailing zeros, dimension colors and arrowheads, view defaults, and automation settings, among others. Refer to Exhibit 3. Adjust the column widths of the table by clicking and dragging to accommodate the larger text, and the table will automatically update. If necessary, reposition the isometric view by clicking and dragging on it. The item balloons were automatically created, but we want to reorder the item numbers. In the Tables menu, select Renumber and then click on the top balloon. Then, continue clicking down the balloons and notice they renumber and the table reorders accordingly. Create a new sheet by clicking on the Quick Add Plus icon at the bottom of the screen. In the main menu, click on Base View to place a base view of the assembly. Set the scale to 3 to 1, and then place the view and press OK. We want to have a view of only a single component and not of the whole assembly, so right-click on the spool and select Suppress All Except Selected and all of the other components will get removed from the view. Refer to Exhibit 4. Now, 
Use the projected view command from the main menu and select the front view as the parent and place a top and isometric view. Then press the checkbox to accept. Right click on the isometric view and select Edit View from the marking menu to change the settings of the view. Change the style of the view to be shaded and then close the dialog. There is a lot of detail on the inside of the spool, so we should create a section view to slice through the spool. Click on Section View from the main menu, then click on the top view to select it as the parent view. Hover over the left side of the circle and the selection line will snap to the center of the circle. Then click to start the section line. Move to the right of the circle and click again to finish the horizontal section line. A section preview will now be snapped to your cursor and it wants to place it either above or below the top view. You can press the shift key once to toggle out of the vertical alignment. Place the section view to the right of the top view and press OK. Refer to Exhibit 5. To properly document the design, we need to add dimensions to the drawing. We'll utilize the Smart Dimension tool by clicking the Dimension icon located above the Dimension menu. This versatile tool automatically identifies the element you select and generates the appropriate dimension type, such as a radius, diameter, angle, or linear dimension. For example, Clicking the top horizontal line automatically recognizes it as a circular projection, dimensioning it as a 27 mm diameter. To place a 15 mm linear dimension, click the bottom edge and then the edge of the spool's shelf. An angular dimension of 120 degrees can be created by clicking the angular line at the top and the horizontal line. Finally, to add a radius dimension to a fillet, right-click it and select Radius. Double-clicking the R1 dimension allows you to add TYP to the end, signifying that all radii on the spool are Radius 1 unless otherwise specified. In the Dimension menu, you will see all of the individual types of dimensions you can create. Let's create baseline dimensions off of the existing 15 mm dimension. Select Baseline Dimension from the menu, then click on the bottom extension line of the 15 dimension on the screen. Then click the two horizontal lines on top of the spool to place the 30.5 and the 33 mm dimensions. Refer to Exhibit 6. In the top view, first zoom in. Then use the center mark pattern command, clicking the two arcs of the slot to add center marks. Next, dimension the slot's width and diameter using the dimension tool. Finally, dimension the diameters of the circles in the top view. Refer to Exhibit 7. The title block has text attributes in it that you can edit. Double click on the title block and it will zoom up onto the screen. Then click on Title 2 and type in Spool and press Enter. While the previous example required manual dimensioning, Fusion offers an automatic dimensioning tool that streamlines the process. To utilize this, create a new sheet and add a base view with a 2 to 1 scale and shortened tangent edges. In the browser, right click on the bale and select Suppress All Except Selected. Afterward, Add top, right, and isometric projected views.
Finally, set the isometric view to shaded. From the dimension menu, choose Auto Dimension. The Auto Dimension dialog will appear, offering various dimension styles like symmetric, ordinate, and baseline. You can also use the density slider to adjust the number of dimensions displayed. While the Auto Dimension tool significantly reduces the effort and time required, you are still responsible for ensuring all necessary dimensions are present. You will likely want to reposition, delete, or add dimensions as needed. Finally, edit the title block and rename it to Bail. Refer to Exhibit 8. You would continue using this process for creating sheets for each of the other components. You would add a new sheet, place the base view, display only the component you want, create the projected views, and then edit the view settings for each sheet. Then you would either manually or automatically add the dimensions. Well, there's an easier way, and that is to use Fusion's automatic drawing creation. We want it to use a specific drawing template, so upload the Getting Started Series title block file into your Getting Started Series project from the exhibits. Return to the Fishing Reel Assembly tab and select File, then New Drawing from Design. This time, choose Automatic in the Create Drawing dialog. From the Template dropdown, click Browse and navigate to the Getting Started Series project to select the Getting Started Series title block template. Observe that the standard, units, and sheet size options became grayed out as they are predefined by the template. Finally, adjust the structure to all level and enable external components. Refer to Exhibit 9. Fusion's automatic drawing process runs in the background, allowing you to continue working. You'll receive a notification when the drawing set is complete. Upon completion, click Open Drawing. The selected template will generate a shaded isometric view with a complete parts list on the first sheet. The next sheet displays a top, front, right, and a shaded isometric view of the entire assembly, including overall dimensions. Next, as you go through the sheets, you'll find the individual components with their automatic dimensions. You might need to reposition, add, or remove some of these dimensions to suit your preferences as previously demonstrated. Additionally, you have the option to delete or rearrange sheets if needed. There are many other commands in the drawing workspace we don't have time to cover in this video, such as detail views, broken views, leader notes, symbols, custom tables, and more. With the drawing set finalized, you can now export it as a PDF or DWG. Select Export PDF and observe the options to export all sheets, a specific sheet, or a range. Enable Open PDF and ensure line weights remains checked before clicking OK. The PDF will then open, displaying the high quality output. Back in Fusion, click on the Save icon to save the drawing into the project. In the next video, we will learn about manufacturing with Fusion.